Hey everyone, welcome to Trail Sage and today we're talking about the Solomon Advanced Skin 12 Hydration Pack. I've heard a lot of good things about this pack so when it came time to upgrade my old Nathan vest, I wanted to see what all the hype was about. So far I've logged over 100 miles and I have a mixed opinion about it. On one hand I can see how this pack works well for most runners, but all of my runs are self-supported and I wanted a pack that I could use a bladder with and this is where I found several significant issues. But before we get into all my likes and dislikes, let's get into the specs. Solomon offers the Advanced Skin 12 in two versions. One has an additional top pouch, but everything else seems to be fairly similar in design. For this review, I'll be focused on the version without the top pouch, but know that a lot of what we cover can be applied to both versions. The Advanced Skin 12 weighed in at 272 grams in a size medium. The outer layer in the front is constructed of a thin mesh fabric that's lightweight and stretchy. Around back there's a large pocket that's also stretchy but constructed of a much tighter weave. On the inside the mesh holes are much larger and have a soft foam like quality to it that's hard to describe. To fasten the vest there's one stretchy cord that hooks into the other side at two spots. To cinch it down you pull on the cord and slide the barrel adjuster to hold it in place. Regarding storage both sides of the vest are mirrored in design. Starting at the top there are two small shallow pockets along the shoulder straps. Below that there are pockets specifically designed to hold a 500 milliliter soft flask. Moving a little farther down you'll see a much larger pocket that overlaps the previous one and wraps around your midsection. Also on that pocket is a zipper compartment that follows the same dimensions. The back of the pack is where you'll find larger pockets of storage. Starting under your armpit there's a lower section that spans your entire lower back and can be accessed from either side. Directly above that you'll see another zippered pocket that runs the length of the vest. Inside you'll notice it's lined with a tent like fabric to serve as a protective barrier. If we look at the top you'll see two openings. Both run the length of the entire pack. The one closest to the outside includes a tiny pocket with a key ring. The other pocket closest to your back is meant for your hydration bladder. If you choose to carry a bladder the Advanced Skin 12 can hold up to 2 liters. Along both sides of the back pocket, you'll notice another stretchy cord that can be cinched down to keep items from jostling around. Finally, the vest came with two soft flasks, but if you're interested in running a bladder or hydration straws, they can be purchased separately on their website. Okay, that was a lot to cover, so let's get into my likes. There are three things that stand out to me about the Advanced Skin 12. Comfort, storage, and versatility. So let's start with comfort. The minute you put this on it molds itself to your body. There are no loose pieces that flap about and when everything is cinched down it feels snug. And I mean this thing moves with you almost like it was part of your body. This is super important for me because some of the trails I run on are quite technical. I don't want to feel a pack bouncing around and knocking me off balance when I'm tackling a tough rock scramble. And while this pack fits tight to your body the breathability is still incredible. The stretchy mesh is not only comfortable and soft but provides plenty of ventilation. I'm especially impressed with the inner mesh which has a thickness to it that's hard to illustrate on camera but you can really feel it in person. This fibrous core allows air to continuously flow between the fabric and your body. You'll also notice these two silver tabs underneath on the front straps. It's hard to see but these are slightly raised like a speed bump. At first I had no idea what this was for but after wearing it I think it's to also provide a little more protection and separation from the soft flask that's on the other side almost like a mini pillow between you and the flask. Now moving on to storage, I think I counted 15 pockets on this vest which is pretty amazing. There are zippered pockets, large pockets, small pockets, I mean this thing had pockets within pockets. It's clear that these folks thought of everything and utilized every inch of this pack to maximize storage. And because of the stretchy nature of the fabric, you can really cram a lot of stuff into it. I had no problem fitting my camera equipment, hydration, safety kit and running gear into the vest and I still had room to spare which is just insane. The last thing that stands out to me about this pack is the versatility. If you look around the vest you'll see a ton of hooks and loops. The folks at Solomon were smart to include several adjustable tie downs that can be utilized at any of these attachment points. This in combination with the sheer amount of pockets means you can carry just about anything with you. I don't use trekking poles but you can see how the tie downs could easily support those. The ability to carry both a soft flask and or bladder means that this pack is ideal for longer self-supported runs where refilling your hydration may be difficult to non-existent. 
I also appreciate the reflective text on the back and front, adding a little bit of safety. Finally, the inclusion of an insulated pouch to be used with the bladder was a really nice touch and works well at creating an insulated barrier between you and the liquid. So now that you know my likes, let's talk about why I was disappointed. Finding a pack that could hold a bladder was really important to me since most of my runs are self-supported. And while this pack does hold a bladder, the design and application leave a lot to be desired. I found a lot of significant issues starting with the routing of the tube. Instead of routing the tube over the shoulder like most other packs, the design routes the tube from your chest, around your waist, and down to the bladder using a complicated network of pass-throughs and pockets. And to make matters worse, there was no explanation or instructions provided on how to do this. I had to look this up on YouTube and I finally found someone who had a video on how to do it. I'll leave a link to her video in the description below. But let's say that you finally figure out how to route the tube. Well, now you're left with a tremendous amount of excess that I had no idea what to do with. Eventually, I just stuffed this into one of my side pockets, but this is far from ideal. Struggling to find the tube and fighting to put it back is not what you want to be focused on when you're running. Now you might be thinking, Sage, just cut the hose. Well, if I did that, that would mean that I would have a hose sticking up and distracting my vision. Now, if you're used to running with hydration straws, I suppose this won't be a big deal, but for me, I don't want anything obstructing my view, especially if I'm trying to navigate a difficult section. Now, if you're wondering, I did try to route the tube along the top. However, there's no pass-through on the shoulder, and more importantly, there's no attachment point on the chest. You're still left with finding a creative way to stuff all the extra tube down a pocket to keep it from flopping about. All of this annoys me because all that was needed was to create a pass-through on the shoulder strap and include a magnetic clip on the end to keep the hose from flopping about, much like you see here on my camelback that I use for mountain biking. And sticking with the bladder design, I found the button and loop that's used to keep the bladder from slipping down your back doesn't work well. I find myself having to reattach this several times during my run. Adding a good old-fashioned traditional clip here would have solved the problem. Finally, this one might be particular to me, but I find the quickling chest strap hard to use. Yeah, it's adjustable and stretchy, but I struggle to get the cord into the clip using the tiny hooks. And because the overall adjustment is done using one cord, it's hard to dial in that exact fit. Either the bottom is looser than the top or vice versa. Now, I have gotten better at doing it, but using two or three adjustable stretchy clips here, much like on my Nathan vest, would have solved both issues. Well, that does it for all my downsides, so let's move on to pricing. I purchased the Advanced Skin 12 for $160, but I now see it available for half that amount on Solomon's website, which is a fantastic deal for a top-of-the-line hydration vest. The other version with the additional top pouch is also available, but is currently listed for $120. So you might be wondering, would I buy this vest again? And sadly, even at the lesser price, my answer would still be no. And the reasons are simple. I find the quick link chest strap awkward to use, but more importantly, the bladder issues are a deal killer for me. And I realize I'm in the minority here because most everyone I've talked to loves this vest and most of the reviews have been pretty positive. So I guess it comes down to how you plan on using it. If you only use a soft flask when you run, then this will be a great durable vest. The comfort and versatility is fantastic. And once you get that fit dialed in, it's pretty amazing to run in. But if you have fumble fingers like me and you want a vest that can be used with the bladder, I would probably find something else. But since I paid good money for this vest and it's way too late to return it, I plan on continuing to put it through its paces on the tough terrain that I love running on. And while I'm not an ultra runner, if you're looking for a review from that perspective, check out my buddy Ultra Trail Steven's channel. He reviewed the Advanced Skin 12 and provides a lot of good insights on it from a long distance runner's point of view. I'll leave a link to his video in the description below. Well, that does it for this review. If you have any feedback or questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Do you have a lens cleaner on you? Oh, it's, 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 it's rugged enough to do that? You're saying speed is your friend, whereas in, to me, speed equals injury. The move would be here and then to here. Yes, yeah. I can run for six feet on a trail. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna run up that. We're gonna, we're gonna run up. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna run up that. Hey. I don't know if I'm actually, oh, there's my shadow. Hi, hi, Anthony. You know, you don't want this thing like, you know what I mean though? Like, but imagine if you had two. Yeah, imagine if you had two. 
Nope, I was not ready. And action. <laughs> Just go be natural. <laughs> Supernatural. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Like a freaking gazelle, my friend. <laughs> Mountain goat. <laughs> Why would you want that much hose? Exactly. Is it like if you have more body to go around or something? Like is it that you're just too skinny? <laughs> just wrap I want to make it funny. Congratulations. <laughs> did you trip? I sure did. <laughs> Well, what, how did it look otherwise? It was great until until, until I went to go put it back on. <laughs> We're about to go viral. <laughs> As I like eat it. <laughs>